Okay. Stupid sack. You know the deal of restating the question? Yes. Okay. So if you could just state your name, how long you've been snow skating, maybe your favorite trick. My name is... I can't look at the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Focus on me, like we're talking. Shut up. This is here. <laughs> okay. My name is Andrew Schmidt. I have been snow skating for like a month. And my favorite trick is a 360 fish nose bone. Can you describe that, please? No. Okay. My name's Andrew. Wow, shut up, guys. My. N <laughs> All right. Here we go. My name's Andrew Schmidt, and I've been snow skating for three months. If you could relate snow skating to anything, what would it be, and why? If I could relate snow skating to anything. I'd probably relate it to horses because horses just have this freedom of galloping through the plains and when I'm snow skating I just feel free. What is your dream snow skating location? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take him seriously. <laughs> this is good though. What is your dream snow skating location? My dream snow skating location would be Mount Petrie, just because it's the only place I've gone and I'm not really good enough to do anything else. Can you say Mount Petrie is the hill back there? Like, can you describe what it is? Mount Petrie is the hill back there. <laughs> say it again without the hand gestures and like describe what's on it. Yeah, everybody else can move, but you can't. <laughs> Mount Petrie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mount Petrie is a hill in Austin Petrie's backyard, and it's pretty much for people who suck and Eric Anderson. And it pretty much just has small rails and stuff. Have you ever thought about snow skating as a career or a major part of your future? Why or why not? No, because you can't do anything with it. Describe it. Can you shut up? Um, <laughs> wait, what was the question? Uh, no, I've never really thought of snow skating as a career because I'm not very good at it and there's not much you can do with it. And, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of hear that. <laughs> you want me to tell her to stop? Shut up, woman! We'll be good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you can kind of hear it, though. You want me to tell her to stop? <laughs> How did you discover snow skating? That wasn't the question we agreed to. <laughs> How did you discover snow skating? The interwebs. You see, it's a series of tubes. And yeah. when. How many times <laughs> do you think you failed snow skating? What's the best fail you've been in? Um. A lot. I've bailed a lot of times in snow skating, and I haven't really had a best one because it sucks. Would you prefer to be in a photo shoot or a film video for snow skating? Uh, photo shoot because I think it brings out my good features more than the video because you can stare at it for a little bit. Yeah. How does it feel to have your own little park or world back on Mount Peak? Sucks. Okay, next question. How did you? I already asked that one. When you go snow skating in an urban environment, what types of things would you look for? Fish. <laughs> Can you like actually? I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I'm not good enough. <laughs> yeah, you're gay. Thanks. No, not you. What was the most accomplishing thing you've done on a snow skate? most accomplishing thing I have ever done on a snow skate would be pretty much nothing because I can't do much. What does the culture of snow skating mean to you? 
not much. It's fun. Oh, I'm sorry. The culture of snow skate. <laughs> the culture of s the culture. <laughs> The culture of snow skating means fun to me. You prefer wearing a cold date than being a cold day. <laughs> I can't even say that one. Next. Do it. Would you prefer to be on a cold day and all bundled up, or would you prefer to be a little bit warmer of a day and through your skating? What was the second option? <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like zoning out. <laughs> I'd prefer to be naked with Walker. What? <laughs> oh, here's a good question. Oh. Do you want snow skating to get popular, or would you prefer to it to stay more underground? Yes. Your answer with restating the question inside. Well, I would definitely want it to become more popular and stay underground, because. That makes no sense. <laughs> I was trying to restate it. Yes, shut up. I would rather have snow skating become more popular because then more people would do it, obviously, and it would be more popular. Do you think snow skating affects who you are as a person? Nope. Oh. <laughs> no. No, snow skating does not affect me who I am. I am my own person. And... What's the craziest trick you've attempted or seen someone <laughs> Oh, uh, the craziest trick I've ever done was back in 95 when I did that 360 fish nose bone over a horse. And it was a little sketchy, but I landed it, so. Oh, well, you want to <laughs> shut up? <laughs> the craziest trick I have ever done was nothing because I'm not good. I don't know. Use the first one. Are you dumb? <laughs> Describe the satisfaction of landing a really hard trick. Well, the satisfaction of landing a really hard trick is very good. It's satisfying. I don't know. <laughs> you. What do you all need for a snow skating session? Just a snow skate and socks. That's snow? No. And snow. Sometimes. I get up and I was like, yeah, work. <laughs> uh, goofy versus regular war. I didn't know it got that big. Um, I prefer Goofy, not only because I ride Goofy, but because I feel the right foot is superior to the left foot. See, this is like men, and this is like women, and this one should make sandwiches for me, but it doesn't, so I don't like it that much. I just use it to powerhouse back here. Ha, ha, ha.